She's the good old gal of gossip with her daily dose of dish. Allegedly, she's 83, but her scoops are still all delish. The power she wields is awesome, but she ain't no Mac the Knife. She's a living New York legend. What a woman, what a life. She's a rootin' tootin' Texan, southern born and raised, you bet. She's now, of course, a natural blonde, but she started out brunette. She idolized the movie stars and dreamed, perhaps, perhaps, one day she'd be a cowboy, but she's given up the chaps. In a suite over Odway, as a kid she dreamed of Broadway, so she hopped on a train in 49. It was just a one-way ticket, she had no choice but to stick it. Overnight she nailed her dream, writing prose for modern screen while climbing stairs for wild affairs. As a fearless young reporter, she would rise to every bait. Spent Christmas with Joan Crawford, or Rock Hudson was her date. She thought that Rock was dreamy, it was love beyond a doubt. But as you may have heard, that romance didn't quite work out. Frank Sinatra was her idol, but old blue eyes used to bridle at the merest mention of her name. But he ended his vendetta when at last he finally met her and surrendered to her charm. She explained she meant no harm, she worshipped Ava Gardner. He decided to pardon her. She has one a glaring vice, she's accused of being too nice and I suspect she is guilty as charged, but with wit and lively humor, she dispenses idle rumor, and she's on a winning streak, delivers seven days a week from all Tom Hanks to Tyra Banks. All the dirt on Liz Taylor's divorce, number seven from the plumber of course, gossip heaven leaked to Liz from the source, that's Liz Smith's column. Front page scoops when the Trumps had their split And brave Liz proved the rumors legit Mad as hell, Donald Trump had a snit At Liz Smith's column Every move that Madonna might make Every time Barbara Walters eats cake Any news, Tom Cruise's love may be fake That's Liz Smith's column Every time Arnold Scarzi exhales any hint and hash may date males. Every time Dick Cheney fails to shoot quails, that's Liz Smith's column. Every time Elaine Stritch performs, every time Robert Downey reforms, every time Brad Pitt changes dorms in sharp gleaming prose. No D's, dams, and does, that's Liz Smith's column.